Righto. Hey guys, Luke the Drifter here in the backyard and it's been blowy all day. The wind's just died down. We've got about half an hour to do a video. I want to show the trailer. So let's get right into it. So this is the new trailer, the Dot 2.0. Finished building dots a few years ago. You know, I could talk all day about why. I won't go into that. But um, oh, we will filming and I had to swap shirts with Toddy because there's nowhere to put this thing, but it's windy and I needed this, right? So, anyway. Um, yeah, so the Dot 2.0. A guy rung me, you know, six, seven months ago. Jason from Off-Road Trailers, Off-Road Designs in Brisbane. He builds trailers for the Australian military, the Defence Force. And one of his brands is Land Force Defence. You'll see that on the, um, on the shock absorbers, etc. Land Force Defence. So he rang me and said, you know, let's, let's do this, let's get Dot going again. And he flew down straight away to see me. I wasn't able to get up there. He came down and saw me. We worked it out. Six months later, we got this here. This is the Dot 2.0. And now I've only just seen this yesterday, this time yesterday, all right? It's only, I've only seen it a couple of hours yesterday afternoon. Mucked around this morning and this afternoon. And uh, so still very new to me as well. But I'm going to give you a quick walk around and show you what's going on. Now the trailers, they, all the trailers we built mostly were, were a, a six foot trailer. Six, some sevens, a few fives, a couple fours, and a couple eights. But this is an eight foot trailer. 2400 long, one meter high, 1800 wide. That's 4,000 liters, okay? So it's a big trailer. But you know, it, it, to me it doesn't look, it obviously looks big, but it looks in proportion, you know what I mean? So sometimes, like when I first saw it, I thought that's not an eight foot trailer, but it is, it's 2400 long. Okay, so it's a big trailer. Now the tear, I weighed it, I was out of the dump this afternoon and I, I weighed it. Um, now I've been saying to people 1.3, a lot of people ask me and I said 1.3 based on some info that Jace gave me, but uh, I weighed it today and I was quite surprised. So I'll tell you that a bit later, what it weighs. Um, but yeah, let's say the tear, the length, the height, the width, all that, we'll go into that. Um, obviously it's a canopy on a chassis. People are saying, oh, it's just a canopy on a chassis. Yeah, it is, of course. That's exactly what it is. Now, if I, the old dot design was great. I made 400 of them. If, if that was a, a design that heaps of people wanted to buy, I would be still making them, you know. But at the end of the day, one of the problems we had, one of the big problems was I just never quite had enough sales. Uh, There's a guy that said one time, Lee Springs and I got to the Outback. That took the wind totally out of our sales. Our sales dropped and that was the start of the, the end. The beginning of the end for dot really was that. Um, even though, you know, the military been using leaf sprung for a long time, 100 years, but this is independent now. Um, anyway, but that's another story. So, here we are, the Dot 2.0, resurrected. This will be number 402. It's made in Brisbane, okay? A lot of people ask, where's it made? It's not a Stockton brand of product. Stockton's imported. This is an Australian-made product. It's got drifter mud flaps on it. All right, drifter mud flaps. It's made in Brisbane, 100% of the trail is made in Brisbane. Um, a lot of people ask about the price, you know, easy question to ask, very qu difficult question to answer, because really the price is all based on the spec sheet, okay? Um, with a lithium battery or without a lithium battery, there's 2,000 bucks straight away. With a 2,500 watt inverter or without a 2,000 watt inverter, there's another $2,000. Yeah, you know, I mean, it all adds up and it's all based on the spec sheet. So I could list four or five different items that would include it or not, and there's 10 grand plus or minus. But, Let's say the base trailer is about 40 grand, around 40 grand, okay? If you want a price, you need to email me and tell me what you want on it. You want an awning, you want a tent, you want a fridge, you want a battery? Because I think, you know, I learned a lot from Dot as well, and we really, because we needed sales, I chased everyone. If any, somebody wanted whatever on the trailer, I'd say, yeah, mate, we'll do it for you. And, but then that's very, very difficult to, to actually do that, and, and it takes a lot of time. Now, with this trailer here, I'm going to sell that as a bare bones trailer, right? I'm going to sell this as a bare bones trailer, and then if you've already got a tent, you've already got a fridge, you've already got a battery, fine. Um, we're actually going to also, it, it'll be called a tradie trailer. We'll be selling this on the website as a tradie trailer because with the size, it is actually a very good tradesman's trailer. All right, so let's uh, have a quick look inside. A lot of people also saying about the rivets, you know, rivets everywhere, but you know, this is a big door, right? It's 2,300 long, okay? You can see on the 79, Beautiful uh, skin there, no need for a uh, for the rivets. 
but also you're talking, you know, 1500, 1500, this here, right, look at this. Twenty three hundred and fifty long, so it's a big door. Needs bracing. There isn't bracing on these these other canopies, right? So you can see all the bracing inside here. Okay, there's uh, bracing there. It's all laser cut powder coated. Everything here is laser cut powder coated. There's space for your wires, zip ties, cables everywhere under here. But the reason for the rivets, okay, one is you can you know bolt stuff on here. Of course, we, we're going to take this off. This is this here is for shovel there's a military shovel and axe holder we're going to get rid of that put some max tracks on but you know you can just bolt them in now the reason for the rivets is you know if you want to seam weld this to put them braces on you're going to see it and it's going to look shit so all until quite recently all the aircraft are made from aluminium with rivets and it's very strong it gives flex and uh remember this guy builds trailers for the australian defense force and and a lot of what you see here is based on that okay Okay, here's another look at our little something here. That's a set of our drifter drawers, drifter stocking drawers. First time on YouTube. Um, they're not bolted down, as you can see. I just threw them in there to give a bit of an idea of the size. Okay, these are 1050 wide, 1050 long. A lot of people would get a set of drawers with these, and these are sitting there now. But let's talk about this side here. So, yeah, you've got a battery compartment in here. Okay, so. A couple of 135s or a 200 amp hour lithium battery will fit in there. That's your battery compartment. Okay, this, this top section comes off. You can put, this is really storage, but this plate will come off so you can get into there. This is more storage in here. There's a vent at the front here, okay, with a filter on it. So this is all pressurized. Okay, if you put your hand out the window when you're driving 100Ks an hour, that's the sort of pressure that's going to be coming into here. And you see a lot of uh, vents cutouts this is for um, to pressurize make sure that every compartment is is pressurized okay so there's a filter there you can see and there's plenty of holes around now that's it there um, this is uh, reinforcing on the top there's space here for fishing rods okay if you want to take this plate here off then you can bolt your little fishing rod holes on here and they'll go right across 2400 long that's long enough for beach rods and everything else broken in half okay ton of room in here this space internally here is uh, 1450 by 1350 okay it's a lot of space here's your drawers here so we can put drawers on them we'll talk about the drifter stocked and drawers another time but this is a world first first time it's been done aluminium drawers teflon runners have a look under there and we designed this system with the first time to come up with a set of drawers on teflon runners 15 years ago i wish i had it patented it but i didn't and of course this has also got the table okay there's the table there it comes out Okay, we can't build these forever. I'm 51, going on 52, you know, and uh, me and Beachy were aging quickly with the amount of pressure and stress that we go through getting, you know, 40 of these drawers out a week with Australian made drawers in our factory right here, 100 staff. We're not going to do that forever. The main reason we've got these drawers is that for seven or eight years we've got shops, Brendale, then Slacks Creek, Gloucester, now all over the country. We've got nine stores right now, Melbourne, all over the place. We've got Adelaide and Tasmania coming up and Mackay. Three new stores we're going to announce before Christmas. The number one thing that people have been asking for when they come in looking at our shops is our drawers. The number one thing. And it's something that we've never been able to do. We've never been able to sell drawers in our shops, in our own shops. Our main product, our, our, our flagship product, we can't sell them because there's a waiting list. Okay. So if we said to, if, if we made a heap of drawers for the shops, then our waiting list is going to blow right out. Okay. So because people are waiting and they've paid deposits, we can't go in and jump the queue and get even stuff made for the shops. This is something that will be in a box ready to go at the shops. That's a quick talk about that, but we'll talk more about it later. Coming this side, jerrycan holders here. So there's twin jerrycan holders each side. I've taken the, the, uh, the nut out of that. There's a long bolt there. You can see the jerrycan holders. It's made for the military jerrycan holders. I've taken that off there because I'm going to put a gas bottle here. The reason I'm going to put a gas bottle here is for um, this here, and we'll have a look at that in a sec. These are new drift stocking lights, little little uh, spotlights. These are great on the back here. Nothing's wired up at the moment. We've got a light both sides. These here, as you can see, are mounting points for for the for the Australian military for a big aerial. Okay, but you can put also your big lights or things like that. Yeah, so that's what these brackets here are for. Okay, these brackets here 
uh, to lift. There's four of these, one on each corner. You can lift this whole canopy off, okay? There's uh, 16 bolts. You can undo that with a rattle gun in five minutes. This whole canopy will lift off, exposing everything underneath. We'll get underneath and have a look also in a sec. We'll come back to what this is here. Also, we've got to get underneath. Yeah, we've got... That's, a ra that's, that's not rated, okay? But when you see the strength is underneath, you, you could pull anything from there. But the best thing is a sling from these two points here, and that goes right through onto the chassis. So these are, as you can imagine, you know, designed for the military, and you can pull off that, no problems, okay? Again, we'll come back to that. We're gonna do underneath in a sec. All right, awning, we'll look at the top as well, but that's our 270 awning. This is what I, I really wanted to have this awning, so it's 2.2, it's gotta be, gotta be high. I'm 1.8, you've gotta be, um, you know, a good gap underneath the awning, okay, above the awning. So we've, we've come over this system, this whole thing lifts up, lifts up about 250 mils, but the trail ended up being quite a bit higher, or higher than I thought, this is the first time I've seen it, and we just don't need to lift it up anymore. So we're gonna take that option off, but it will be an option, you know, if people needed it. So that awning does lift up. That's why this bracket and, and all that's here. Um, but for the height, it's a perfect height. This is now, somebody asked me the other day, is it gonna get under 2.4? And um, it's not sitting quite level, but let's have a look at that. The middle of the awning is 21, okay? So probably the top of the rooftop 10 is about 23, and there's 24 up there, okay? so. It will fit, someone asked me that today, they were keen on one and it doesn't fit on 2400, no problems at all. But yeah, 270, tent on top, that's a 1.4 rooftop tent, we are going to be looking at putting a 1.6 on there as well. Okay, passenger side, drop down bench, that's it there, okay. I'll just, um, we haven't fitted pretty much anything on this, but that's your hose, uh, water in and out. And you know, you can use that there, wash things down, that hangs there. Nice big bench, lots of storage. Doesn't have a drifter kitchen, unfortunately, but that's the way it is. You can't pull a drifter kitchen out of something like this, different style, and uh, that's, just, uh, that's just the way it is. All right, canopy doors need to go up a little bit. We've got to adjust some of these, these gas struts here, but this will sit up a little bit. And one of the big things I've noticed because um, went from the 76, 15 years driving around Australia with that, then we've got the 79. The best thing about this 79, right, is that there, right? So you're cooking dinner, we're having lunch, it's starting to rain, or the sun's beating down onto you out in the outback, all right? This thing is brilliant because you've already straight away got shade and shelter, okay? And that's the same thing on this trailer, look at that. I mean, you just lift that, this is a big canopy door, it's 2350 long. And if you're cooking for lunch, You've instantly got shade and shelters. That's a big thing having this, this um, canopy door up here, both sides, you know, that's a really big advantage. And again, 4,000 litres in this size here. It's a big trailer, 4,000 litres. And uh, yeah, so storage there. This will be for your fridge, ton of room. You can fit a 95. We've got the 95 litre fridges coming. So it'll be a draw slide here and a fridge there. Ton of space. I had a couple of these things to really quickly show you. Look at these, these turn up some, these are going to be available very soon. Look at that, these are our really good tool rolls. First aid. This is my tool kit. Okay. Mesh. You can see what's in there. This is a bigger version too. The mesh one's on the website at the moment, but this is a new bigger version. And also we've got that's a whole barco set, a whole barco set right there. Heavy duty PVC rolls up, look at that, a barco set, a whole barco set's right there. We've got a couple of different colours, pink for the girls, and this is another one we've got coming as well. Uh, that's the mesh, and they're removable, look at that, so these are coming. Storage, storage in here. You've got cutouts, there's a space there for a fan, you can see up in here. All right, there's a cutout for a little um, a fan, a little computer fan, which will um, suck air out of this area for, for the fridge. You've got cutouts here for wires, there's cutouts there. Up in the top here, you know, you can see, this is a good spot for a control panel. We've got rivnuts here, um, you know, the boys have thought of everything. 
There's rib nuts all over the place, um, but a good spot for a control panel there. Cables everywhere, you can knock that out. There's, look up in here, there's a spot there for, see up in here? That's for an Anderson plug. Okay, so a flush mount endo plug fits there for your fridge. There's space here for your, for your cables, space here for the cables. It's incredibly well designed. Um, front box here, okay. That's gonna be, there'll be a slide on that. Okay, so there's your front box. You can get it with just this top tray for a space case on top, which will be here, or you can do the space case on top of this box here. So that'll be a big slide though. Plenty of room in there. Big day. Big day day, Toddy, wanna? Oh, crazy day. Righto, so that's sort of front and back. Let's have a look up here. Imagine if you take this base case off, that'll hang down there, and that's a ladder you can use to get on. You can step straight on top of this, uh, with or without the space case, and you can get up here. You can see you've got handles here, okay? There's a pole inside here that locks into here, handles, so it's a great access up and down. We pioneered the walk-up hardtop several years ago. We made a hundred of them like that, the walk-up hardtop. You walk up the front. I was at our know, Brendo manager, Tofty's house. His wife actually mentioned to walk up the front and uh, we just stood there dumbfounded like, holy crap, let's, we raced out and we realized that walking out the front for the rift up tent was the answer because of course the awning is a problem. So we pioneered that, the walk up hard top and we're back to that again now, but lots of space there to, um, you know, get up and down. Okay, you can have a little stool here, you can have a little stool, there's lots of things we can do in that area. Have a look at the front here, DO35 hitch, um, okay, pretty standard there. But have a look at the way this is done with the chains bolted on, okay. You've got this, you've got a, a toe point underneath here, okay. So if you bog yourself down in the desert and you're up, trying to get up sand hill and you've got to turn around, whatever, stuck in a creek, you can, you can skull drag this out by this front um, D-shackle here. You can see you've got protection underneath there. This piece here, all right, see the big U-shape here? That's to lower the down. If, if, if that hitch was on top, it's going to be too high. So that lowers it down. It's a huge, it's like a, well, that's a seven mil plate. Okay, look at that. Um, like I said, you can tell this guy makes trails for the military. You've got these here. I mean, this is something that's always been lacking, something to drag it around with. These here. Um, yeah, now you can, uh, so if you've got your hitch, you turn it sideways so the dirt doesn't get in there. You can hook that up, skull drag it. Because of this front U-shaped section, to lower that like that, this big piece here, okay, 80 mil, that's a big brace, okay, because you've lost some strength here, so that's a brace there to stop this coming in, okay. The jockey wheel, okay, it's a big jockey wheel there, and all right, that's a bit of a lap. So what we might do is uh, we might jump underneath, and then we might jump up on top. Let's have a look underneath. Now, if we're gonna get under there, talk about suspension, we need to talk about weights and ratings. So when I weighed this at the dump today, it come in at uh, 1095, okay? It was actually a bit heavier than that. It was 120 kilo heavier, but we've got 80 kilo rift top tan, 25 kilo awning, and uh, a few other things. So I added all that up, it's 125 kilo. So come, we've come in at 1095 for the tear. So on the VIN plate, it's going to be 1095. So I've been saying, um, you know, to some people 1.3, but it's pretty much 1.1, 1 .1, 1095. Let's have a look underneath. Ton of room. Now, these are 12 inch electric brakes, right? So they're rated up around three ton, but 12 inch electric brakes, these springs are rated to 1.9. 1 1 okay, so in a day, it's rate, it's the, the rating now is based on the spring. Okay, we've got twin shocks. This uh, section here, you can see the, the logo there. It's branded Land Force Defence. This is their own system that they've designed for the military, all right? And they, um, they're rated up to four and a half tonne, okay? But it's, it's down to the spring here. So if we put a four and a half tonne spring on that, this could rate to that, okay? So plenty strong enough, designed for the military, literally 1.9. Now if you wanted to go 2.3, you want to go 2.8, Whatever you like, we can do that. But at a at a tear of 1.1, 1 
and a, and a 1.9 rating. You've got 800 kilos of payload on this, okay? You've got 140 litre water tank right here. It's a big water tank, none of these 80s. That's a 140 litre water tank. Send it over the top here. So it's sent it over, the, over there. And yeah, so twin shocks, 1.9, 12 inch electric brakes, and that's it for that. Now these um, drop down, we'll have a look at that in a sec, Ed. These are drop down stabilizers. Um, yeah, it's plenty of space to, of course, run wires and run things um, all through here. You can actually bolt another water tank on the back of this as well. There's rib nuts here for another water tank here. But 140 litres is pretty good. Plenty of jerry can holders. A lot of people have been asking, where's the tyre? It's up under the front there. So let's just duck up the front and have a quick look. And uh, also, let's have a look at this here. All right. This is, uh, these are heavy spec rear stabilizers but i've never seen them like this before these are heavy duty you can wind that up you can use a rattle gun you can wind that up and that'll lift that's rated to uh yeah like two ton or something so you can lift the wheels off the ground you don't need a jack you can use these to lift the wheel off the ground to to um you know change the tire so heavy duty um your water points are there water in and out all right let's have a look under the front So there's the spare tyre, okay, you've got um, mud, uh, you know, mud flaps to protect underneath here, you've got stainless steel fittings and cables, your handbrake cable stainless steel, you've got, uh, that's a Land Cruiser spec uh, winder, okay, so you can access the winder, there's a long, uh, you know, winder pole and you can drop that down. You can see all this detail under here to protect these cables and wires if you need to drag this out. Uh, this piece on the front here, that's, that's, you, you're going to get rock chips on the front. This is a sacrificial piece. This can come off. You can see the bolt holes. You can, un, you can take it straight off and you can respray that. Uh, the can of matte black is the same colour as this. So you can just touch that up anytime you like. So that's doable. Um, we've got our, these are only drifter stock and little, little flood lights, little camp lights, they're great. Here's the front points so you can lift these off, canopy off. You, you're probably never going to lift it off, but if you wanted to, you can. And... Alright, that's... I've missed a heap of stuff, I'm sure, but... Let's keep going. Alright, so... What's this on the back? Someone contacted me, a lady, I, I don't even know where, and I can't even remember the name of the company, but from somewhere in Australia, and they were making these, sent it to me 12 months ago, and I've done nothing with it until now, and I bolted on the back of here, and it was like it was designed for it, like it was just made for it there, perfect size. So let's have a look what this is. Now, I haven't, Toddy gave me a hand this afternoon to bolt this on, but I have not yet set it up. So this is a first look for me as well. All right, so what this is, it's very clever. I don't know if you've ever seen this. First time I've seen it uh, in use is, as you can see that, gas bottle's gonna be here, right? There's your gas leads right there. Okay, look at this here. All right. There's all your in here. This is incredible. This is your shower, right? Hook that up to there, bang. Hook that up to there. Um, how good is that? Tucked here out of the way. You've got space for a hanging, right? It's a little, was our ladies' toiletry bag. Space to hang all your toiletry bag. You've got a mirror, shelves. I couldn't figure out what this was. I'm like, what the hell is that? But Downey said it's a, it's a soap holder. I'm like, oh yeah, it probably is. And look at that thing, soap holder. Um, pretty neat. I thought it was the bloke's washing up tub. Now, I haven't done this yet. So, but the concept is, 
Uh, that comes off. This unclips. Look at that. Right, you've got um Look at that. On sweet. Peg that down. Look at that. I've got the height right, Toddy. So there's your ensuite right there. I think that's brilliant. And uh couple of pegs. Now there's a bit of a bit of work to do here to neaten all that up. Um, but that's the basic concept by look at that. Now the 271 is going to come around here and uh, this is made in Australia. Um, yeah there's a bit of there's a bit of homework to do here to get all that attached but there's you know you basically end up with that there look at that. Have a look at that, Toddy. All right. So that, oh, here we are. That goes on there. There's a zip. <coughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Your zip, that goes around there. All right. I don't know where that piece goes. But you've got a hard top. There's a light in here. You've got cigarette plugs. You charge your phone while you're having a shower. You've got the shower hooks on here. It's unbelievable. And it's made perfectly for this trailer. So... I think that's a winner. All right. What about the top, Toddy? Right, -o, so we've sort of set this onto it up with some pegs. And yeah, look at that. How's that for a little setup? This here all folds up in the top. That all folds away. You get everything you need. I think that's brilliant. I don't even know if we can buy another one. I'm not too sure if they're still being made, but I'm gonna find out tomorrow. But right, quite brilliant and suits this trailer perfectly. Alright, so I won't set the awning up, but this is our big heavy duty 270. And this is the front of the trailer with the uh, rip-off set. So, this is a high trailer, um, but easy to put a little step there and a little step here. This is something that's... Okay, see out there? That goes inside the box or inside the truck. All right, that just slots in there. Look at that. All right, so that's something really nice you can get up and down with. Again, that's a big step, but we can have a small step on here, no problems. All right, it's got big handles here. Come up here and tell you and have a look. And jump, jump up in here, mate. All right, you can sit up here. That's the good thing of the walk up. You know, you've got you. You, you don't need a ladder at all. You've come with a ladder of the tents, but you don't need a ladder. You've got also, because you've got this 2400 long, look, your boots can go up here, your undercover. This is a new tent we're working on. I've got a 1.6 version coming as well. But look at that. Get in the morning, have your coffee here, in the Arvo, have a beer. You've got like a little deck. You've got like a little veranda. That's not bad. The building, look at these hand holes. Look at that. This ladder too, look at that. Bang. That's and uh, yeah, nice and roomy rooftop tent. So, and even here you can see the uh, this having this extra length 2.4 long with a 2.2 rooftop tent gives us a little bit extra space. Righto, so, lots to look at, lots to talk about. Um, this is the, the, the roof rack here. You can see that's a multi sort of section that you can put any sort of bars on. Later on, what I'm gonna do is take the tent off, leave the awning on. I've got the bars there. I'm gonna put my um, extension ladder on there. I'm gonna put some lengths of 145 by 45 raft material, some 5.4s or something, right? All my tools in here. 
and this is a bloody trailer trailer. It's big enough to be a trailer trailer. Imagine if you're, you know, a chippy or, a, well, pretty, I suppose. Who else needs a trade trailer? But having the workbench on trade trailer is brilliant. All your tools, all your bags, you can keep your fridge there. And uh, when, you know, you finish, take your bags out, chuck your camping bags in. You still need your fridge, you still need some electrics, you still need an awning. This is home base. I used to work up in the Kimberley. We used to go into Derby. We used to go on to missions. We were working and the old 47 series Troopy. And uh, that's when I got my first tradesman's trailer. It was a little trailer, had no wheels and was buried in the sand. Someone gave it to me and I dug it out, put some wheels on it. And I had it for several years after that. Back when I was working for myself as a subby in North West WA. Some stories there. But um, anyway, quick summary. Quick summary of this trailer. Made in Brisbane, Australian made, okay? It's the Tez 1050. It's rated to GVM at 1.9. You can rate it for 2.9 if you wanted to. It's 2400 canopy. It's 1800 meter, so it's 4000 litres of storage. You can use it as a tradesman's trailer. You can use it. We're going to be selling them as a trader's trailer, actually. As you can see, you can do almost anything with it. You can bolt on, on suites on the rear. You can run wires all through the thing. We're not going to fit these with hot and cold running water and all that sort of stuff. We've done that endlessly and never done it again. You can buy this trailer bare bones. You can buy anything you like from our shop. We'll fit it up for you, but only things that we sell in our shop. Okay? If we don't sell it, we're not going to fit it. But it doesn't mean you can't take this to your auto electrician, you know, your favourite mechanic and get him to go the life, go the hardest, you know, do whatever you like. So we will sell them, um, kit it up with a fridge, tent, awning. Many things are in our shop, you can fit in there, we'll throw them up, no problem at all. But we're not going to do everything. If we don't sell it, we're not going to fit it. Okay, if you want a Red Arc BMS system, we don't sell it, we won't, we won't put it on. Um, so that's how it's going to work. Um, waiting list is probably going to be uh, eight weeks. Um, like I said, the price around 40. With your basic fit up, rent, warning, battery, fridge, your basic fit up, they're around 48 grand, something like that. 4,000 litres, 48 grand, um, and a ton of space, you know. Australian made. Now, these are going to be on display. This first one's probably going to go to Newcastle this weekend, so coming up very soon. Um, we're going to try, we've got 11 stores. By Christmas, we're going to announce three more stores, like I said, Tasmania, Mackay, and Adelaide. Um, we're working on them now. A lot going on the Drifter as always. But you'll be able to see, I'm not sure if we're going to get them in every store, but we're going to try to get one in most of our stores. That's a lot of trails, a lot of money. Um, but that's our plan. So at least you've got to come to Newcastle. Next one's probably going to be Coffs Harbour, our new little warehouse there. Um, then Wollongong. So we're going to get these in the stores. So you can come and have a look. You can see our tents on display. You can see our warnings on display. You can see our fridges on display. You can see all of our bags fitted in here. So we're going to chuck a lot of gear on there for display in the shops and you're welcome to come and have a look anytime. If anybody's keen on a trailer, you've got the shop staff, but for a little while, I'm gonna be the only one knows, you know, the specs and the sales. So if you're wanting to buy something, want to buy one of those trailers, just gotta email me, okay? Luke at drifter.com.au, send me an email, tell me where you are, if you're keen, what you want on it, and I'll get you a quote, no problems at all. Well, that's the dot 2.0, this is number 402. I made 401. Not making them anymore, these are made in Australia, and if you wanted one, you can buy them, no worries. The dot 2.0 trailer, ready to go. Thanks, guys.